The best part about art is that, especially living in Brentwood, it's the best part is that you get a break from everything. You, when you're doing art, you don't really think about all the drama that happens in the Brentwood bubble, you think about your art. The visual arts, I think, are so elemental to helping us become well-rounded humans. So we have a vast array of art classes that you can take at Brentwood High School. There's Art One, where you get a sampling of everything. You take a 3D class, two-dimensional um, route, and we also have AP Art History. I would recommend this to rising freshmen, mostly because coming to high school, I was stressed out about grades because everything's so intense. It's the first, I, don't know, I guess, nine weeks of school, and art really gives you a break from school. It's more, it's not really a, a school class, it's like a relaxing class that you take at your house. My name is Drew O'Keefe, and I've been teaching the bands, orchestra, and the rock band class since 2013. First year students that come over to the band and orchestra programs, they basically, it's just a continuation of what they've already learned over in the middle school. Uh, they'll start playing uh, with more advanced techniques, uh, more advanced music, um, and everything is just a progression from what they've already learned. If I was to ask any of my students why they would take my class, most of them would say it's the social aspect of being a part of a, of a, of a team effort. Music is, a, is definitely a team activity and uh, the friendships that they gain from being a part of, of a music ensemble is, is really great. I really look forward to band class every day because you can kind of come in and just relax and have fun. We also try to take them on uh, trips every couple of years. Uh, this coming year we're, we're planning on taking the marching band to uh, either Chicago or New York City. <laughs> Welcome to Brownwood High School. My name is Demi Houston. I'm the Chinese teacher here. Chinese is definitely a hard language to learn, but the good thing is our teacher goes at a pace where it's easy for us to understand. The students tell me what vocabulary they will need, what language chunks they will need. Then we will build a new vocabulary together. We do story time. Tell them, the students tell me how the vocabulary related to them. Then we'll do a uh, board game, we'll do clap hands game. But I feel the most important is that the students know that they will use this vocabulary. The vocabulary will be uh, related to their lives, so that's very important. I would recommend Chinese to rising freshmen because um, it's a great experience. It'll help you in the future. It's beneficial to um, be able to know Chinese and speak Chinese with um, other people. My name is Natalie Pratt and I've been teaching at Brentwood High since 2011 um, and I've been here for seven years. I think this is a great class to take as a freshman. First of all, it's, it's a great class to get your elective out of the, the way, get your art out of the way because it's um, not super demanding outside of school and it's a lot of fun. You get to learn something you probably don't have a ton of experience with already. I think students can take choir um, even all four years. I have a lot of students who do that. They just have to be aware of what the graduation requirements are before they start. Um, it might be a decision whether you can take a year without a study hall or um, take another class online, but it is very doable. Um, a lot of my kids do it, and I think um, as long as they're communicative with like me and the guidance department, there's a lot of ways you can fit it in. All right, well, I teach three classes. Uh, computer Science A is Java programming, so that you're going to learn how to write programs in the Java programming language, you're going to learn to solve problems. Uh, that's what really what all computer science is about, is solving problems in creative ways uh, and using technology while you do it. I teach uh, Computer Science Principles, which is another AP class where you're going to learn about the internet and data and how can you really use technology to be good at whatever your passion is. It's really a really relaxing class and you get to work with computers and um, you actually learn a lot about the internet and how to use computers, so that's what I really like about it. I would definitely uh, recommend this class to a freshman. Coach Sanford, like I said, is a really cool guy. He gets along with anyone as long as you pay attention in class and do what you're supposed to do. I think the best kind of student is one that's not afraid to jump into a problem they're not comfortable with. I think they're, they need to be creative. 
Um, but I think curiosity is the biggest piece. You don't have to be an all-A student with a 35 on your ACT going to Harvard or Yale. All you have to do is be curious and want to learn and be interested in using technology. This is Kazowski Miller. I go by Miss K, and I'm really excited. I get to teach dance next year at Brentwood High School. She has a background in dance, I know, and she's really easygoing. She's really easy to talk to, and she's also very understanding about like everyone's needs. It's a class that could actually cover um, a range of levels, and it could be designed for all movers because in any dance class, um, especially if you're well versed in it, you know you start with foundational movement, and there's specific practices that are experienced every day, and then we can build upon those. I just think it's something that we don't necessarily get a lot of these days because we're so busy. So I just think it's going to be so much fun. And then you get to be with others. So there's this community that we're building as well. It's the best. <laughs> Whether or not you have a background in dance, I still believe that you should take it only because dance is a great way to stay active and to have fun with it. Like there's literally something for everyone. Jumping, I bet my mayor has served. I think that students should take French because, first of all, it is the language of culture and art and music, and some say the language of love, and um, we, we have fun. Group activities that we had to do where we had to sort of partner up and figure out how to say things correctly, because she would give us a sheet and like, okay, so you, you know, learn how to say these sentences and like, you know, correct verbiage, and so it would just be like a like another mad dash scrabble to figure out what to say. All of the tests, all of the things that we do are a scenario of real life. So you will basically get to practice real life in class. You get to communicate in Spanish with your classmates for like tests and stuff, which uh, makes it more realistic versus just like taking a course, writing down yeah. words on paper and like studying. Who wants to do that when you can actually learn a language? The students who find success are going to be the students who are excited about Spanish. They want to learn Spanish and really that goes for any language. If you are interested and have a desire to learn that language, you are going to be more successful. First year, take computer apps, and they learn everything to do with Microsoft Office. They learn how to um, make PowerPoints, um, write business letters, anything in Word, do research papers. They learn how to do Excel spreadsheets, and they learn how to do access to test, do the data, and that will be at the end of the year, and some Photoshop. And then the next year, it depends on what grade they're in. If they're juniors or seniors, they are actually going to take business management, which they get MTSU credit for, for a total of $25. Um, if, and then accounting is, can be done 10th, 11th, or 12th, and um, they actually get dual credit for that as well, and that is, um, they get four points added on to their G, um, GPA each semester. If you're like business minded, it's just like a good class, it's like a good like baseline class to take. So you'll probably have to take accounting in like almost any college class. So like, it was just like a good foundation. Hello, ich heiße Brian Renfro, und ich arbeite seit 2015 as Deutschlehrer here on Brentwood High School. So, my name is Brian Renfro and I've been working here as a German teacher in Brentwood High School since 2015. I like Mr. Renfro because he's funny, he helps the class with questions whenever they have any. You need two years to graduate. We have German 1 honors, 2 honors, 3 honors, and then we teach AP. So in German you can go all the way through AP in four years, whereas compared to Spanish and French you need to do four years and then take AP. Renfro does a good job of helping kids understand it, using it in everyday uh, classroom experiences. We talk in German and he tries to help us get away from English as much as possible. We teach you skills in the language and you're up out of your chair talking with your partners, you're moving, you're listening, you're writing things down that your partners are saying and uh, with that we hope to reflect real life. We want you to talk. For any rising freshman who's concerned of, or uh, interested in taking German, it's really close to English, so it's pretty easy to catch on with. Germany is the world's fourth largest economy. Germany is the size of Montana. They have the fourth largest economy in the world, and we want to open up our students to those economic benefits of learning this language.
I'm Diana Tomeko and I started teaching at BHS in 2005. Students in first year Latin learn the basics of communicating in Latin and in the process they learn more about the ancient Romans and their culture, mythology, and history. Students who take Latin learn a lot more about the language of English and um, English grammar. Two years of a language is required uh, for graduation and if you take Latin after your second or third year, you take it for college credit. So it's a great way to get a head start on those college requirements. Hi, I'm Courtney Blaylock and I'm in my fourth year of Latin, which is Latin AP at Bertwin High School. I decided that since Latin is the basis for so many more languages that I would have a lot more options once I get into college. I think out of all the foreign languages, this is probably the most beneficial as far as academics go. It's helped me so much in my English courses and my science courses and even my history courses. If you're looking at it from a more academic standpoint, I would definitely recommend Latin as your number one choice. TV and film is one of the elective focuses here at Brentwood High School and that you have to take three years so you can take three years or up to four years and that will satisfy uh, your graduation requirement. Hello, my name is JJ Blanton. I'm a senior intern here at WBHS9. I'm also a head of the technical department. Um, so basically what we do is we go out and we film football, basketball, volleyball, any, basically any sport that we do here, we go out and film it, record it, and put it on the channel. Broadcasting, TV, film, there are a lot more women going into those industries today. And I'd love to see more young ladies take this class. It's pretty much a male-dominated class, but we're trying really hard to get women, young ladies involved because they're going to really enjoy it too. It's not just about covering football games and, and working a computer. It's about having fun and making cool videos. Actually, um, working for the National Predators now, um, I'm filming game time film for them, so broadcasting can really open a lot of doors for you and get you good experience in the field and a lot of new uh, careers in your life. I love people to take theater because it helps them to become more confident in talking to people, being in front of people, and it's a tool that you can use every day in life because you have to communicate the whole rest of your life. It's a really great course. Um, it's awesome for kids who aren't necessarily into theater. You know, they haven't done anything in the past with it. Um, you can start off as a beginner in this class. It's super great for that. Um, but if you are if you do have some theater experience, it's awesome to do that as well. And not only that, but theater's fun. So it's a great way at BHS when you're stressed out with studies to come and enjoy learning in a fun environment. You learn things and you can use them in daily life with social interactions and things like that, but it's just a fun course. I look forward to it every day. Theater production. It is a fun class. It's different if you don't like sitting in a desk and chair and like being up and running around and screwing around in a positive way, this is the class for you. Uh, we pretty much focus everything on production of theater, whether it be building the set or building props or just working on handyman stuff around the set. As you can see maybe behind me that we are in the process of dismantling our fall play from uh, the show that we just finished. Pretty soon we're going to get geared up and work on our spring musical. It's a different type. And we do all sorts of things like makeup and cuts and bruises and props and all sorts of uh, things related to theater production. Hello, I'm Katie. Hi, I'm Rohan. Today we're here to talk to you guys about the Bruin to Bruin Mentorship Program in Bruin High School. Yeah, so as Katie said, it's a mentorship program here at Bremen High School that we're encouraging all incoming freshmen to join. Uh, basically what we do is match the incoming ninth graders, so y'all eighth graders, uh, up with seniors. And we do this with an interest form that, you, that you'll fill out in a couple of days. That basically you note down like what clubs you do, what activities you enjoy, like what you do for fun, and we use that to match you to a senior or upper, upperclassman that has similar interests to yours. So you kind of have like a buddy to make you through your first year. And we think it's going to really help get y'all acclimatized to like how high school is, uh, what you're supposed to do, um, and you have someone to ask questions in regards to uh, like just advice, etiquette, classes, or just like questions about life in general. So help you, also help you make friends with upperclassmen and have a good high school experience. So we really encourage y'all to join, and just hope to see you next year. Bye.